So here we are, we're ready for the Pompeii exhibit. So if you are new here, hello, hi, and welcome. We're glad that you stopped by. If you haven't seen Pompeii exhibit, um, this will be as much as I can record. I'm not sure exactly what I can and cannot record yet, but we'll find out. Um, if you are new here, hello, please uh, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the bell notification. We are Echo Travel Adventures. We do a lot of travel videos. We're trying to branch out more than just Florida and the theme parks. So um, today we are actually here in Houston at the Natural, at the Museum of Natural Science, and they have the Pompeii exhibit, which ends September 6th. We hope you enjoy this video. Two thousand years ago, a mighty Roman Empire was at the height of its power, ruling lands that stretched from England to Africa and from Syria to Spain. One of the flourishing regions under this dominating rule was located south of Rome, defined by the colossal Mount Vesuvius. Pompeii was one of a number of towns at the base of this mountain, a cultured and vibrant city. It was a time of great prosperity. Pompeii became a rich agricultural center, a vital seaport, and a booming commercial hub. The town housed a theatrical and sporting events. The people visited luxurious public baths, and wealthy Roman visitors enjoyed the lifestyle the Mediterranean offered. Life was good for many of the 25,000 inhabitants. But that was all about to change. In 62 AD, an earthquake rattled the small town, yet the citizens rebuilt, unsuspecting of the looming disaster. With no word for volcano in the Latin language, the people of Pompeii were largely unaware of the mighty power of Mount Vesuvius. On the 24th of August, 79 AD, 17 years later, Mount Vesuvius tragically burst forth, raining fire and debris on the entire city. Within the span of 24 hours, all life was stopped, buried under 12 feet of ash and stone. It was not until 1740 that this hidden city was unearthed. It lay forgotten for over 16 centuries, awaiting the discovery that perhaps no other place in the world could offer. An ancient Roman city frozen in time, preserved by the very tragedy that destroyed her. Now step into this extraordinary city and discover the story of the people of Pompeii, their way of life and their death in the shadow of the Sibius. <laughs> like I say, we've been here before, not to this, but to Pompeii itself. Piggy banks. Yeah, we may do a reaction video to our time in in Pompeii. This is the statue of Aphrodite. Different statues of different goddess right here.
I don't know, that's cool. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but these are this right here. This says the release carved on Oscalia. Is that I think that's how you pronounce it? Maybe are typically Roman scenes or theatrical themes. This one shows Hercules on the side of Pan. On the other, oh, that's cool. And the guys, they had fountains. They had everything over there. They had water basins. So what you what you see? Okay, so it's just it's so much information to tell. So they had like different things like that where they actually had like little stoves underneath that you can cook. They had open ceilings that allowed water to come in for like baths and and all that kind of stuff. That's a bust of young Hellenistic male. Walk over here. This is a real deer statue. It's incredible, the artistry. And Amazon on architecture. A fresco of a large window through which you can see complex buildings with an Amazon sitting on a uh, balustrade armed with a sword and pal palata. Pelta, sorry, Pelta. <laughs> wow. It's a candelabras and tables. On the back wall is a still life with dish and molasses. Over here is a furniture handle. Oh. Wow. Well, wow, it's like a kettle. Oh, it's got a ball tour on the right. So this large bowl was used for mixing wine. Romans considered it vulgar to drink wine undiluted or directly out of its container. I did not know that. This is a fresco of Cassandra on the right. You got some cups and, and bowls. Okay, this is called a brazier. The furnaces that were used to keep food warm or heat a room. So it's like a furnace. And this is still life with fruit. So in every Roman city they had a forum. In every city they had a forum. That was where the commercial social center was. What was cool about Pompeii was they had a huge, huge, huge like I don't want to call it a pond, but like a like a little lake. So we have an anchor, we have some fish hooks. Well, there are, nothing's changed from what we use now. This is Hopper Crates, genius. I'm not going to try to speak Latin. Old fishing and boating utensils and, and tools. Oh wow, they have scalpels and tweezers, a suction cup. It's amazing. Wow. This is still your balance. And these are the weights that they use. <laughs> 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 
And four for Gurium. One of Gurium is the yeah, wine, and then for oil. Much like what we do today, we like to do a lot of eating out. It's all food from there. That's cool. And we're going to find it funny. So in the video that we shot, we were in Pompeii. I was telling Amber about what the use of these were. So it was kind of like they would keep their food like she's doing here. And you'd come up just like you would like McDonald's or Burger King or whatever. And that's how you would get your food. They ate a lot of bread. <laughs> oh wow. So these are bowls with pigment. They're used for textile and decoration for walls. So you have like orange, pink, and blue. Just a sneak peek over here. Amber and I walked those roads. <laughs> Talk about cast iron plans. <laughs> you may have a funnel. Wow. Yeah. Alright, so we have a lamp shape in the head, a bull. Only up with three bowls. Just amazing. You even have a hanging lamp. You have a lamp shaped like a child and like a goose. So, in our video that we shot when we were there last time, we actually got this in graffiti. That's what it was. And it survived. Before we walk in here, just keep in mind that this is a uh, things that depict what the brothels would look like. So it's definitely parental discretion is advised. We had the infamous gladiators. You can't really see this very well. So moving forward. So these were all made out of, it doesn't say what they're made out of, oh it looks like gold, sorry, it says it right here, ah, gold, wow, and then you have the bottles and a mirror, containers for perfumed oils, now one thing that you have to admit about the Romans was that they believed in that fast, and so the eruption's happening right now. 
That's why it's just a little bit louder. So, one thing that Amber and I didn't get to see when we were there was a theater. But here's some of the, the scenes. We were able to go into the, amp the amphitheater that they had in Pompeii. That was massive. There's the helmets that they used to wear. what killed everybody. All our sisters are full. Wow. You feel the wind blowing. <laughs> Kalim suffered the most more than Pompeii. We saw this. There's one with a a pregnant mom. Oh, little puppy. They're able 
able to see, hundreds of years later, exactly how the dead lay when the volcano struck. It's actually pretty sad. There's no way to prepare for it. Well, that concludes our video, guys. If you made it this far, thank you so much for supporting our channel. So I'm by checking this out. Um, I will try to find a link and post it down below for the Pompeii exhibit. Maybe it's going to a city near you. Um, definitely, definitely an awesome place to go to. Um, but if you did make it this far, thank you again. Please don't forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe if you haven't done so. Hit that bell notification. We do try to post it every Tuesday and Thursday and thank you for stopping by and we really do appreciate your love and support and we'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye guys.